Your website visitors could reach your website from different parts of the world and speak different languages. In this video tutorial, we're going to create a multilingual chatbot. Let's get down to it. So the first step is going to be to create a new scenario, a new blank scenario. We're going to add a new event, which is going to be user message matches, and we drag it. We configure the block with a star. It means that any message will trigger the chatbot. Now what we can do is to drag and drop a text message. So this is going to be the default message. So it means that any language will trigger this message. Now what we can do uh, is to add a French message. So we're going to manually translate the message in French. So what it's going to do is if the user speaks French, it's going to respond with the French message. And if the user speaks any other language, it's going to respond with the default message, which is English in this case. On the top right corner, we can select our current language so we can visualize the chatbot in French or English. Chatbot, for instance, we can respond with a different language based on the user location. So we do a condition and we're going to check based on user location and we drag the block. So here, what we can do is to select France and we can also target different countries in the same block, for instance, Belgium. And now we can add a text message. So plus action, send message, text message, and we can do our French uh, message. We can do the same uh, using different locations. So we drag the block and it does a new branch. So we're, we're going to select United States and then United Kingdom. And Canada. And then we can chain it with a different text message. So this is going to be an English message. And boom, here we are. We have a chatbot targeting different locations. We could do the same by targeting a user language instead. So dragging the block here. So here we're going to target French. And we're going to delete the user location. And we're going to do the same here. We're going to use user language instead. We delete this one. And we're going to configure this one for English. So now our chatbot responds not based on the user location, but based on user language, which will be pretty similar to what we did on the first step. So different ways to build a multilingual chatbot. Now it's your turn. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss any tips and tricks about CRISP.